Yes, that's right, I'm also playing it, <laughs> by everyone's request. What's up guys, my name is Chris Kane and welcome to Let's Play Pocket Mirror, uh, an RPG Maker game that I played the demo of what felt like two or three years ago. And this game is really cool, it was really short, and I f thought I was keeping track of it pretty closely, but I guess not, because this game kind of, what seemed like randomly, was completed and released. Uh, there have been some tr trouble with downloading it, but I believe it's fixed now. So, uh, let's get started. This is a really cool, uh, indie horror RPG Maker game. Kind of has like an Alice in Wonderland kind of thing too. I remember there was a puzzle involved marbles putting into the floor. <laughs> That's really cool. Uh, but this game's supposed to be really cool. This game has a lot of like, I like the way the art is where it's supposed to be a scary RPG Maker horror game, but it brings out a lot of different shades of pink. <laughs> Which I actually do appreciate that. Hold your memories close to your heart. You shouldn't ever let it go. Do you understand? Yes, mother. Remember they did update some of the art, I believe? Maybe, I don't know. Where am I? Now the art's still pretty much the same. It's a big mirror. So it's been a long time since I played that demo, uh, but I feel like this was the start of it. It's closed and I can't get out. How did this happen? This is... Acquired a golden pocket mirror. My pocket mirror. Thank God I didn't lose that. Ooh. Wait, system. You can change the color. I ain't changing the color. This shit's great. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's change the, the instant, uh, the text to instant. Hearing impaired mode? Creator comments. Interesting. Uh, we don't need that. But we're not going to change anything else. I forget how you save in this. What's the matter? I can't see my own reflection. How will I apply my makeup? What was that? Huh. Maybe the door's unlocked now? I still can't get out. There has to be something else in here. A whimsical light shines through the window, strong enough to blind one sight momentarily so yeah it was a very short demo but I have no idea how long this game is and I don't care I think I've seen these flowers before uh, I'm very look much looking forward to how this game is this game right now even though the game came out after this demo I believe is Stray Cat Crossing and that was a really cool beautiful looking game huh. how am I going to get out is there an item there Wait a minute. Let me look at the item I have. Uh, its lid is beautiful. Or do you know the fancy flower pattern? The letter G can be spotted on the back. It didn't give me anything. Huh. I acquired a red marble. What? Well, we were just startled by it, but let's just... Let's go to the door anyway. Yep, yeah, this is what I remember. There's no one in here. But there here are some mysterious holes. Oh, wow. Did it always look this good? I forget. Uh, Alright, so... Small holes. It's locked. We're supposed to look for marbles. Put them into the floor. I've solved it once before. The marble's glowing. Sure, why not? It fit. It's reacting to near where it's supposed to go, I guess? And it opened a door? <laughs> oh. Look at 
beautiful crayon drawings. Huh. It's that girl from Kill a Kill. Or not. I wonder who drew this. Oh, you moved. Was this there here before? The pale blonde doll sits on the floor with a sinister smile on her lips, slowly nodding. Just nodding? Nodding off to sleep? Let's just leave. What is this? Uh... That doll wasn't there before. Less startled than I assumed you would be. Alright, we'll head west then. Oh, there's the green marble. Thank you, I guess. Didn't really help, but I felt like maybe you... <laughs> Just ignore it. Fair enough. It was, it was glowing, right? That's what she said? Insert marble. Alright. I like that the save point is like a little music box. <coughs> Shit. Asbestos. What is this? Please forgive me. It wasn't my fault. It could... Couldn't be here? I don't know. These are... Oh no! A moving pen. The quill, or a quill. Quills are cooler, I think. We should all just start using quills again. The quill is moving on its own. We shall go together. Who are you talking to? Weeping Angel claps his hands in prayer, holding the rosary in between his fingers. What was that sound? Huh. Probably, this picture's making me nervous. It's closed. There's a, there's must be some kind of item on the floor I'm missing that I'm not seeing. There it is. Er, no. What about right here? It's the same thing. Oh! Why did I do that? <laughs> There's something shining inside. Why not? Uh. Oh, did you hurt yourself? Oh, your hand's stuck. Oh, shit! I'm just spamming Z as fast as I can. I think that's what I'm supposed to do. Okay. Nothing there showed me that it was like a quick time event. It was just more like, press Z. I'm out of here. Huh. It's not telling me that the marble's glowing or anything this time. Nothing yet. Let's, uh... Maybe I can just take it out. I do remember that. Lavender marble. Huh. It's not uh, reacting to it or anything. No, let's not go back there. It's close. It won't budge. Let's just go ahead and try each of the holes. Or not. Oh, there we go. Now it will let me insert the marble. Okay. That time it didn't tell me, like, oh, the marble is telling me to put it here. Nothing yet. So pretty. It's a shame it's so dusty. Let's get your little hanky out. The mouth of the teapot overflows with a cloudy, grubby mold. Looks like it's been painted over. Old cobwebs on the stool. Who's that? Oh. Miss? Yes, who's there? Let's get closer. Tell me, miss. How does the sky look today? 
I wouldn't know. Uh, it's raining. I can't see from here. There's no... It's bright. I don't know. I see. Thank you. Here, you can have this. He appreciates honesty. I guess, yeah. I was expecting him to kind of use the marble as a distraction to come at me. Let's go ahead and try each of these holes. See if they fit. No. The marbles have given up telling me where to put it. There we go. Huh. I guess it goes that way? Interesting. So we don't know her name yet. No, she's still she's still a mystery to us. Uh, force it open. <laughs> Just keep rubbing it with your knuckles. Uh oh. The room shouldn't be different. Oh, okay. Man, she must be scared out of her wits end, like... Is there writing on the walls? The surface of the mirrors have been soiled with fresh blood, which drips down its frame and onto the floor. Okay. Is there anything in the, the crimson drops hanging off the uh, flower petals? It's rad. Oh, there's something right here. Ha, <laughs> great. <laughs> uh, get some tongs. <laughs> what can we do with that? Hmm. This is bad. It's locked. Can we not? S we can only look at it, but we can't. She's not going to do anything about it. Footprints. Huh. Wait, what's this? Oh, that's... <laughs> I thought this was like a ghost right here. That's just from the mirror. Or the, uh, the window. Where does the footprints lead to? Illuminated by the sun, between water and fire. I rest in the dark side of the moon, awaiting... Waiting your awakening. What does it mean? don't get it. A door opened. And we still can't pick this finger up. Nor do I want to pick the finger up. There's something on the window's parapet. Okay. So that riddle was about that about that window, I guess? Interesting. Put it in, nothing happens. We're level one, apparently. I don't want to go back there. Huh. Well, that did something. Let's, uh... That's close shut. Okay. The keyhole's got a weird stuff substance. Huh. Oh, I remember what you're supposed to do now. Put that in there. That's what I remember. Hmm. Alright, well, first things first. I should bring this pocket mirror back. But some of you guys who were playing this who might be watching me play, I didn't know you could do that. I remember doing that too, because I was like, why would I leave such a valuable item? And now on to some new shit. Well, after this cutscene. You look special. Such a strange doll. I'm sure it won't come alive at all. It's not moving. The light is blinding me. I need some fancy sunglasses. What's this? It's a diary. Something scribbled on the cover. Little goody two shoes. I once lived in a small village when I was young. My youth was spent in hard labor and cold, sleepless nights. 
There was stake and ribbons. Now, I often dreamt about a better future, one that I could fill my stomach with luxurious sweets and thick, expensive steaks. That's the life right there. One day I heard an old woman talking about a strange rumor. She said that a certain someone had been granting wishes in the woods to anyone who dared summon a certain name. Someone who wasn't quite human. Yep. Oh. What just happened? I don't like that. And this is right where the demo ended. I remember. I walked through here. And it was like, thanks. Good job. It's moving like water? Oh, shit. That's the worst. Thanks for playing the demo again, you idiot. No, I shouldn't. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> it's always the worst. Huh. Where the hell am I? It looks like just a normal mirror. Oh, the pumpkin's asleep. It's snoring. I should probably ask him for help later. So this game also has like a, uh, a weird Halloween theme. Like, I remember noticing a pumpkin. Yeah, it's on the upper right-hand screen. There was like a pumpkin somewhere else too. Maybe it was in the item screen too? Yeah, on the bottom. So I was like, huh, it's a Halloween game. This says Halloween. Oh! Ouch! <laughs> You're looking this way. Oh, look away before you get turned to stone. You're not Medusa. She'll get you. And what did I even do wrong? Why am I even here? This is not fair. I'm curious to know if you are allowed to leave without the pocket mirror. <laughs> Alright. It's closed shut and the doorknob is stuck. This sucks. Is this a door over here? No. So I went through a mirror. Oh. Can you run in this game? Yes, you can. I don't want to touch it. <laughs> Blinded as sacrifice for those in dismay. Stolen by just childish play. Right and left taken by the hand. Our request is your demand. What the hell? Ow. Do I have health? I have zero charms, but I have no health, it doesn't look like. I heard like an unlocking sound. What the hell? Will you burn me? No. Drawing is based on perspective, which is nothing more than a thorough knowledge of the function of the eye. Our dice smart. <laughs> She's like, I, I guess. I'm still freaking out over the fact I'm looking at a pump talking pumpkin. Fate 1655, grasping the dagger buried in her chest, a lady sinks to the bottom of the sea. That's, yeah. There's a lot of paintings. A lot of old fashioned art of just. What? A pumpkin charm? Maybe these are considered health. Maybe? Female aristocrat. Did you know uh, pumpkin flowers are edible? I did know that. It's still gross, though. Like, who goes, Mmm, I could eat this out this pumpkin. I wouldn't mind having my insides scooped out as long as I become a yummy pumpkin pie. Retribution reunited in the golden room. Various smiling women witnessing the murder of a newborn child by decapitation. Yeah, a lot of old-ass art is just... There's that weird picture of all those, um, all these men, go, uh, like, all around looking at the skeleton of an infant. It's just like, what is that there for? Oh, this is, uh, the paint's still wet on this one. 
this me? Sisterly, 1844, the painting of a confident woman. Such a pretty lady. She looks pretty confident, too. Murky dark water drips endlessly from beneath the frame of the painting. Do I have a hanky? <laughs> Handkerchief? No. Hey, little girl, get back here. I'm tripping. <laughs> Excuse me, miss? Yes? Could you please show me what you've got there? What should I do? I don't want to give her the pocket mirror. That's mine. I'm sorry, but I can't let you have my pocket mirror. I see. It's alright then. I'm sorry to have troubled you. Though I would still love to take a closer look at that marvelous mirror of yours. What mirror? Have you changed your mind? I think I still have to show... Yeah, maybe it's not like a bad ending, good ending thing. Maybe I actually still have to send uh, show her. Alright, just please be careful. You're so trusting! It's a talk painting, God's sakes. I'll be taking this, thank you very much. Fuck that. No, give it back, please. How far are you willing to go? I'll do anything, just please give it back. How generous of you, I'll gladly take you up on that offer then. I'm sick and tired of being stared at. I command you to take that woman's left eye if you want to live. Resist and we shall take yours instead. What do I do? What? What woman? I guess there was a painting of a woman I could take the eye from. It's been painted over. Forgive me if it's like obvious where this woman's supposed to be. There's a female aristocrat. It's locked. No, it's in here somewhere. What, uh, what woman? I've looked at every painting. I don't like this painting at all. Please don't take my eye. Maybe it's in here. I need to take that woman's left eye if you want to live. Oh, on the other side. I don't know what to do. I'm so sorry. Curse you, Annalise. I'm assuming her name is Annalise. What? What happened? Wow. Alright guys, so that room right now is kind of confusing me. Uh, I'm not sure what to do in that room, so we're actually going to skip it. I feel like I'm missing an item, because there obviously is nothing else in that room, but we can go into the other room. An eyeball floats in the murky water seal in an old jar. Ooh. I want to see it once more. I feel like we should be going in this room first, because I, I gave that a really good try and I could not figure it out. There was once a, a certain illusion I saw in the mirror I once knew so well. There were a part of crimson colored irises accompanied by only the reflection. The two eyes remained still, not once blinking in the short amount of time that they stayed, staring directly at me and no one but me. All I can remember from that day I was born for are a few memories, forged encounters which I never experienced and gotten in my forgotten existence, recollections which did not belong to me. Who, in all honesty, who am I? To whom did these memories belong, I wonder? 
they were certainly not mine, and yet here they dwell inside this small room where I sit, ever reminded of these fabricated crimson irises, which replayed once and again a thousand times has such a memory had been so showcased inside my small mind. Oh, don't talk about bad about yourself. And yet, I still can't reach any conclusion other than my complete existence has always been and always will remain controlled by those same eyes. Living in this small room, I remember a dream I once had. A tremulously vivid one. A small carpet had been laid before my feet, which guided me towards a single opening on a darkened wall, one that seemed to advance further and further with every step I took. For an instant, I was thrown into a world I did not know existed. That's relatable. It was like Ib right there. Oh, I, uh, was her eyes red? Eh. On the other side of the gap, I saw a reflection. My reflection. We can't see our own reflection. Silky brown hair covered my back, braided into thick bra uh, braided into thick braids on each side of my head, which beautifully framed my cherry red eyes. Standing right before me was a little girl dressed in a fancy, frilly clothing. Who was this person I had never seen? Could it be me? I recall lifting my small hand and touching my own cheek. Such a gesture engraved into it itself onto my memory. A soft texture of my skin, the free and effortless, effortless movement I had made to raise my hand made me realize I couldn't move. I could move. Such a strange sensation of empowerment filled my body, soul and body, leading me to feel uh, the feeling of excitement which led my imagination astray. I was not only, I was, not only was I real, I was alive. That little girl reflected on the mirror was me, and I could breathe and live. Life dwelled inside my body, and yet, as I turned my head to look outside, the same light which had peeked into my small room had blinded me once again, leaving me inside my old room where I stayed. Deprived of senses, deprived from, of a sensation I once knew as life, I stayed. Please, show me the light. I want to see it once more. I want to live. That sounds really depressing. But yeah, very relatable, because we've just... Wait, doctors have yet to find a way to successfully transplant an eyeball. Optic nerve. Really complicated shit. Various dusty jars. Oh, now I got two of them. So I should have three? No, it's just telling me how many I have now. Oh no, I have to go back into that room again to get that one from the bookshelf. There's water on the floor. I hear an eye for an eye. Whatever, bro. What's this? Creature. Oh, I want to see the light once again. There's something in there. Yeah, I bet you do. The window is so dirty, the light barely gets through. Huh. You want to see the light again? Can I reflect the light off this pocket mirror? No. Can I grab one of these candles? Is, what's she looking at? Uh, I'd very considerate <laughs> that they put read again as an option. There's something I'm missing. What? Oh, hold on a minute. I've accidentally found a solution. I think. I don't even know what I'm pushing. I thought it was a cobweb. But I notice this thing kind of moves. Huh. What is it? A piece of glass? What is that? <laughs> uh. What is that? What? Huh. 
I'm supposed to push it, but I don't know where. We're gonna figure this out, though. The light. I did it? What in the world? Is that an item here? I just need one more mirror shard. Yeah, I do know mirrors pretty well, I guess. Uh, where's another mirror shard? I see this little glimmer right here. I thought this was another item, but I guess not. What in the world? How am I not... Oh, wait. Maybe now I can use the pocket mirror? This might work. Why would I not use it? Come out, little buddy. Uh. Oh. Thank you, miss. Now I can finally give this back to you. Sick! At last we meet again. Who's that? I don't know you. I just want to leave. I should take this with me. Interesting puzzle. Like, that was actually okay. Like, I've, I think I've played games where it's just like, there were multiple rooms and there were multiple puzzles and you kind of get a little uh, overwhelmed a little bit, but like... It was pretty obvious that we had to get something out of that room. But, uh, yeah. It's funny, I just got a tweet from a buddy of mine, and he's like, Please tell me, please, you're playing Pocket Mirror. And I'm just like, maybe, I don't know, actually. I don't know if I'm gonna play it or not. <laughs> Evil me, right? Hello, miss. Such a pretty lady. Hopefully she's not a huge bitch. Can I just give it to her right now? Hmm. She seems upset. Uh, I don't know when the right timing is to give it to her. Oh! Oh no, I examined it. I'll give her the pocket mirror. And I'll be surprised. Okay. Maybe I give her the eyeball. Wait, what? Hmm. Okay, no. Hello, miss. Do not pluck out. I better not. I should give her an eyeball. Uh, what? Do not pluck pluck it out because I will die okay maybe this is the timing that I give her the eyeball hmm I don't, I don't I'm not sure okay pluck it out I don't think this is right No. Huh. I don't know. <laughs> okay, apparently, I guess I'm supposed to run. Oh, fuck's sake. <laughs> Uh, the logic's pretty weird with that. That's weird. She... Hmm. <laughs> I was like, I had the eye, and I was sure that that was the reason I had to... Go, maybe? I don't know. So then. Uh, what do I do now? I guess I have two eyeballs, one that's red and one that's blue. And they go somewhere. 
and that's locked. Let's see here. Uh, the blue eyeball was the left eye. It's not for this? I don't want to hurt myself anymore. No, I don't want to touch it. Let's not say we did. That was mean. Also, she has my pocket mirror still. Uh, we are supposed to come back in here. Are you alright? It's gotten dark, hasn't it? <laughs> Isn't that rad? That it got really dark. All these new headsets are great because I can hear all the music. Ha ha ha! Trolls you. Serves her right. From now on, I'll always be number one. This can't be. Here, you can have your little toy back. Throw that shit on the floor. Oh, I'm so sorry. But the game wouldn't let me do anything different. Is there anything else going on? No, I shouldn't stay in here any longer, should I? Okay, I got my pocket mirror back. That's the important thing. So, can I now put these eyeballs in? Okay, I guess that's a yes. I think that might have been wrong, actually. Ouch. Okay. Let's say, all right, the left eyeball was the blue one. Right? Okay, yeah, <laughs> it just fell on the floor. Forever grateful, miss. What a weird game. I'm liking it. Very mysterious. <laughs> 